There's a story in the Bible found in Luke chapter 7 about a woman who enters a Pharisee's house to see Jesus. She knows full well all that she's done. She knows that by trying to enter this house, she'll most likely be rejected and cast out. She already realizes how unlovable and untouchable she is to these holy and righteous people, yet she's desperate. She's desperate to have this guilt and shame removed, desperate to have the pain taken away from the past that led to this lifestyle that she had chosen to live, desperate for a new start. So she boldly enters the Pharisee's house and amazingly, she doesn't go to the ones who look different. She goes to the one who is different and she brings with her a very expensive perfume and begins to wash Jesus' feet with her tears and her hair. Jesus then gives her the freedom that she had been desperately needing and her offering fills the room with a beautiful fragrance. The reason why I share this story is to remind us all because there's been times that we have felt this type of desperation, that we all have at times felt unlovable, unreachable, or untouchable. We all go through times of doubt, fear, condemnation, and guilt, and we all need to be reminded of the grace and the love that's been poured out upon each and every one of us. So think about it. Who loved you in those times? Who accepted you and was there for you when you needed it most? Who shared with you the hope that is now in you? Someone took that time to love you and give you hope. So now it's your turn. Who can you reach and how can you reach them? The Bible tells us that we've been given the Holy Spirit. That same Spirit that was poured out upon the early church, that same Spirit that rose Jesus from the dead, lives in each and every one of us that claim the name of Jesus. That same Spirit fills every room with His fragrance every time we enter it. So we don't have to look different. We are different. Jesus could walk into a room looking like everyone else, but because He was not like everyone else, He filled the room with His fragrance and His light. He drew people to Him by His presence. And when they approached Him, He was ready to give an answer for the hope that He had to offer. So we too can fill the room with Jesus' fragrance and be the light wherever we go. We too will draw to us those who the Holy Spirit draws. Our job is to be ready to give the answer for that hope that's in us. So imagine who we could reach and love if we lived every day knowing and remembering the power that lives in us. What if believers everywhere were to go to the places that the Holy Spirit were to lead them regardless of how unthinkable, unpopular, undesirable, unattractive that place may be? What if we were to walk in the boldness knowing that greater is he who is living in us than he that's in the world and not quenching the spirit by worrying about what others might think or do to us? Paul tells us, I have become all things to all people that by all means I might save some. We're called to go out to all the ends of the earth all the places to all the people to bring hope to the hopeless, joy to the joyless, good news to the downhearted, to fill every place with Jesus' fragrance and his light. So where's the Holy Spirit leading you to go? What place are you to fill with the fragrance of Christ? Who are you to become like in order to reach that person? Who are you called to love? Go in boldness and love, be the light, be the fragrance. I want to pray Ephesians 3, 14 through 20 over each and every one of us. Jesus, all these people that are going out in your name, I pray that your unlimited, amazing resources will empower each and every one of them with your inner strength, that you will make your home in their hearts as they trust in you, that their roots would grow down into your love and keep them strong. Give us all the power, Lord, to understand how long, how wide, how deep, your love is for us. Help us experience your love, though it's too great to even understand. Then we'll be made complete with all of the fullness of life and the power that comes from you and you alone. All glory to you, Jesus, who is going to do amazing, powerful, mighty things through your church. Help us to see others the way you see them. In Jesus' name, amen.